What is going on? It's Styler here and in this video I will review the Qbot X10, a very beautiful phone in alloy and glass to a good price. I got the phone from everbuying.net and as always remember also to check out the video description for more details. So the Qbot X10 comes with the normal MTK6592 octa-core chipset. So it is not a 64-bit, but still very powerful and comes with one of the best designs I have seen for a long time. The materials and look is really, really amazing. And one of the highlights about this phone is also that it is said to be waterproof. Heavy rain should not hurt it at all. Inside we also find 2GB RAM, 16GB ROM, 13MP interpolate rear camera, 8MP front camera, dual SIM, support for micro SD cards and a 2400mAh built-in battery. Okay, let's have a look what you actually get together with the phone. So first of all, you get here extra screen protectors for the front and the back, so that's really nice, because the phone has glass on both sides. Then you also get here a cover here, and this is a soft cover in plastic, in rubber, so you can see here, very nice. So this will also protect the phone. Then there is also a small pin here to open up the SIM tray. We have here the quick start guide here in English. And this one here is really detailed. You can see all the pictures, read all about the phone here. Then we of course also have the micro USB cable so you can charge the phone connected to the laptop. And last we also have here the wall charger branded with the Qboard logo very anonymous we only see here in the bottom the ce logo it's saying power adapter it's a 5 volt 1 ampere made in china okay let us have a look here on the phone design and the this should currently be the slimmest waterproof smartphone in the world according to qbot we see here it's really really nice to look at here completely dark black screen here and uh, it's hard to see the bezels when the screen is also black we see the top and the bottom is only white so here in the top we find the proximity sensor we have the light sensor and earpiece and we will also find here a notification led in one color in red we have here the screen and it's a 5.5 inch ips display HD. We see here below the touch buttons, but these do not have any backlight, but you can see them here. Also notice this really, really nice uh, CNC metal frame here, and actually uh, the color here is gold, I would call it. You also notice that the phone is really slim, it's very thin. On the back we find here the 13 megapixel rear camera, it's interpolated, but we also see here, I think this is a noise cancelling microphone, but could also be a reset button actually. We have here the LED flash, we see here the QBot logo, backside is of glass of course, and there is already uh, pre-installed a screen protector on the back and the front. Down here we see the CE logo, we see the website to QBot.net, and we have the rear speaker. So uh, here we see the SIM tray and the micro SD tray. Actually, this is one big tray you have to open up. I will show this in a minute. In the bottom, we find here the micro USB port together with the microphone. And uh, on this side, we find the power button together with the volume rocker. And uh, here in the top, we find the 3.5 mm headphone jack. And uh, what you notice is that uh, in every port, there is these uh, flaps here protecting uh, the ports against water because this phone here is as told uh, waterproof so um, that's why you have to open these if you want to use the ports let's just try to open for example here in the bottom okay so you see here this is one you have to open up if you want to use the micro usb port here Let's check here in the top. Okay, so you see the same here. So here we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. 
again remember to close this because that's the only way that the phone still will be waterproof and then now let me open up here for the sim tray so you have to open up this big flap here and you see inside here we have one big tray okay so here you can see i removed the tray here and let's just have a look here so actually i have here two sim cards right now micro sim in the top and also a sim here in the bottom and with this one i'm using an adapter here so you can see looks a little bit strange but uh, actually it is working and um, on this side here you can actually insert the micro sd card if you want to use extra cards okay so let me do a 360 degree turn of the phone so you can see the design let's get a little bit close up here really nice And you can see the size here in my hand actually it's okay i would say and it looks really nice with this black uh, screen here with the top and bottom in white i think and this gold frame here We will now jump right to the test. Below in the video description I will also provide timestamps for this review so you can jump around the things I have tested and in the end of the video I will also list the pros and cons so stay tuned. Okay so here you can see the phone is booted and we see here the lock screen. So here of course you can add widgets and so on. We'll, let's just unlock. You see here the UI and uh, this is KitKat. Let's just scroll a little bit. So you can see the speed here is good, fast. Let's see in the app drawer. Okay, also fine. Let's have a closer look on the buttons here. So there are no backlight in these, unfortunately. But uh, we have here a notification LED in the top okay so here you can see the led now in red so it will start to blink here in light manager test and the phone also support off-screen gestures and double tap to wake let's just test this out double tap yep let's try for example uh, m for music yep and it will start up the music player as you can see so uh, you can also here use uh, air gestures to unlock just wave your hand and it would unlock like this and the air gestures are also working here in the lounger but you get have to get uh, pretty close to the sensor before it will work but it does work and uh, some few words uh, regarding the vibration in the phone actually it feels pretty good uh, it's it doesn't feel that cheap and uh, would say the vibration is, um, is strong because you can really feel it here in the phone and uh, let's now have a look on the viewing angles so what you can see here pretty good viewing angles here from the sides and also from the top here let's try here yeah and uh, the colors are very vivid the picture is actually pretty sharp for an HD screen. Let us also try here the multi-touch test. So we get here maximum 5 point touch as you can see. And uh, some few words regarding reception and network. As you can see here the Wi-Fi is pretty good. It's in the top here. And the Wi-Fi speed and reception is really really nice. And uh, we see here the network reception. I'm using dual SIM right now, one with 3G. And uh, also you can see that the network reception is also almost in full. This phone here generally have a really good reception and Wi-Fi speed. 
So uh, next up, let's try a test call. Test of proximity sensor. Okay, so here you can hear the earpiece, the ear speaker is clear and loud. And uh, now let's have a look in the camera app. Okay, and let me just do one sample shot here. Okay, let's have a look. So you can see good colors, good details, very nice. And uh, for camera samples in full resolution, I will provide some samples in the video description. So don't forget to check this out. If you want to see high resolution samples, you can here do something. I think this is for the face beauty. You can use this slider to change how much it uh, should uh, beautify your face. Let's see what we else have here. So let's have a look inside the settings. These are very stock. We have anti flicker. You can set the volume button settings here also to photo, volume or zoom. Let's see, we have voice capture, face detection, HDR. Picture size is 13 megapixels interpolated. But overall the camera is actually pretty good in this phone here. In my opinion the pictures are pretty sharp. Even here in the corners and in the sides uh, the picture is still sharp. On some uh, models I have tested the picture was only sharp in the center actually and get, got blurred here in the, in the corners. But uh, most pictures I took with this phone here are sharp uh, in the whole area actually. So for me this is a pretty nice camera. And uh, the front facing camera on this phone here is also supporting autofocus, so this is also a pretty nice thing. So uh, next up, let us test out the LED flash, the torch. And uh, the torch on this one here, uh, the LED is actually very strong. So this one is not weak at all that, than we have seen on, the, uh, on some of the older models from Qbot. So it's really nice that they uh, at least uh, upgraded the LED here now. Very, very strong uh, LED very strong light and uh, also this LED uh, works really great when you take pictures in the dark with the camera app. Let's have a look here in the quick toggles. You see these here. Let's see in the settings. Okay, so we have of course SIM management. We have support for hot knot. This is um, an alternative to NFC. Let's see in uh, storage and uh, we see the phone storage here on 16 gigabyte. Let's see. Of course, it also supports the SD card. Let's have a look inside uh, the RAM usage in apps. Okay, so uh, what we see here is 557 megabyte used. Still is 1.4 gigabyte free. Totally, we have 2 gigabyte RAM, so this is enough. Let's see in language and input. So I will just scroll through these. You can pause the video if you want. Let's see in accessibility. So inside here we will find the smart wake, double tap to wake, and off screen gestures like draw an M to start the music player, like I showed in the beginning. Let's get back here and uh, we also see direct. So uh, these are some uh, smart features, for example, SMS direct call. This uh, means if you view an SMS and put the phone up to your face, it will directly call the person that sent the SMS. We also have here contact direct call the same, just in contacts. 
swing to answer, gesture unlock, and we see here some settings for the air gestures, for the music player, pictures, camera, and the launcher. You can also swing the phone to change the wallpaper, swing to answer. Let's just try here with the wallpaper to see. So this is working. Just shake the phone and it will change the wallpaper. And uh, here back in the settings, we have of course developer options. Let's have a look in about. So here we can see the CPU model, the frequency, the build number. We see it support wireless update. So here you can update over the air, OTA. And uh, we also see it comes with Android KitKat 4.4.2. So uh, next up, let us check out OTG, USB on the go. Let me just connect this here. Let's see if it's found or not. Yeah. So we see it's found here, external USB storage. Let's see in the file manager. So here you can see we have the external USB storage found here. Let's get, get into other pictures. So these pictures are on the USB stick you see. Working good and nice. Let us also try out some music. So regarding the rear speaker, uh, I would say the speaker is very metallic, it's not the best quality and uh, the volume could also be better, but uh, it's average I would say. And uh, music with uh, earphones, like uh, for example the Piston 2 here I'm using, uh, the sound quality is really good and uh, the volume I would say is um, about average, not the loudest but also a, bit, a little bit louder than normally. So overall I'm pretty satisfied with the sound quality and the volume with the earphones, so no problems at all with this phone. Next up I'm going to run some different test apps and a game. I will turn up for the background music as always, so let's check it out.
just went down. So this is the end of the review, now to all the pros and cons that I have found on this phone. So first to the pros. The Qbot X10 has a very sleek thin design and very good build quality. The materials are a mix of glass and alloy and feels very high end and premium in the hand. Another thing I'm very pleased with is the camera. The camera shoots some good sharp pictures and even in the corners and sides of the pictures it is still pretty sharp. It also has a notification LED, but uh, unfortunately only in red. It has plenty of RAM, so most games and multitasking runs fine. It has support for air gestures and smart wake, all very convenient features to have in a smartphone. So regarding the cons are that the phone is not using one of the new 64-bit chipsets. Still it is fast, but because of that it is missing things like 4G and GPS with GLONASS. Also the touch buttons have no backlight and of course you can live without this but it would still have been nice with backlight. The rear speaker is only in average quality, the sound is nothing special and again very metallic. The USB port and the 3.5mm headphone jack is covered with some plastic tabs because it is waterproof. It is a little bit annoying that you have to remove these each time you want to use the ports but I guess that is required if you want a waterproof phone. So the last thing I have to say is also that the phone uh, doesn't have so many sensors and uh, also it doesn't have any kind of e-compass. That's it for the review. Remember also to check out my blog. You'll find the link in the video description. If you have any questions, please comment below, give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching. See ya.